When I started my agency, I thought that I could just brute force everything, learn it all myself, and scale to the moon. And to an extent, I was right. I managed to scale to $4,000 per month completely on my own. I did buy one course, which was like a thousand bucks. In my opinion, I got kind of screwed. It wasn't what I was into. I did learn some lessons there, but not the lessons I thought I was going to learn. I learned some more negative lessons from that. So call it what you will. But I didn't do any coaching or anything like that. So yeah, I managed to scale to $4,000 a month, but the problem was that it took me over a year. Blood, sweat, tears, figurative, obviously. And it was a really, really tough mental challenge for me because I felt so ready to explode and be this master entrepreneur who was pulling levers left and right and just making tons of money. So I thought, and then I got faced with reality, which is that I just sucked at business. And look, like I'm not trying to make a whole long-winded video out of this. It might end up being really short. The point is that, Start, I've said it in some other videos. I'm trying. I'm not trying to be redundant about it, but I like this. Just killed me in such a big way. Starting out, you suck. That's all there is to it. You just suck. If you pay for a coaching program, you can get better way faster. But in reality, if I gave you guys on my channel everything that I do, the entire blueprint to my business, 99% of you would just screw it up because you suck. Because you're new as I was. I'm not trying to tell you I'm better than you. What I'm trying to tell you is that when you start out, you need to accept that fact. It is a reality and there's nothing that you can do about it. And I drill into this and I've probably talked about it a couple times on my channel, but the reason I talk about this so much is that having high expectations of myself burned me. It really did. It, I was constantly let down. My own self-confidence went down the drain. I'm not gonna go into all that again, but I think this is just such an important note that it's worth bringing up again, and it deserves its own video in my opinion. So I'll say it again, starting out, you just suck. And that's perfectly fine, that's natural, that's normal. A lot of people think, oh, I thought this was gonna be easy, or I thought this was supposed to be easy, or they don't know, a lot of people don't know where they're supposed to be at for how long they've been in the game, which causes a lot of people to quit. Like a lot of people will be in the game for six months, they'll maybe be doing a one or two thousand dollars a month and they're like man this isn't working it's like but that's where i was i mean to be fair like three months in i had like a seven thousand dollar month where i signed this bigger deal whatever but my first year's average was something like fifteen dollars a month in revenue my first year if you think about it a year is quite a while and that was because i did it on my own i didn't do any coaching all coaching, you don't need coaching. All coaching does is it just shortens the time period for you getting to a certain result. That's all it really does, like you don't need it. But if you wanna move faster then, or if you wanna move at a certain speed or at a certain rate, then you do need it. But man, I tell you, had I known that it would take such a long time to really get this going, it's not that I wouldn't have gone into business. I would have gone into business just with a completely different mindset. I wouldn't have been so worried about money. I wouldn't have felt so pressured to scale so fast. I wouldn't have felt so let down when I wanted to be at 25K a month at this point and now I'm not. There would have been so much more peace of mind had I known this, which is why I'm sharing it with you. And the reality is all the people that you know or that you look up to started out and they sucked. Maybe some people closed deals pretty early and had some good months like myself, but most people more or less start on a level playing field. That's not true, some people have natural proclivities toward things, or just another way of saying that is talents. Like I'm talented at sales, for example. But my first 25 sales calls, I was still garbage. And that's just how it is. So the sooner that you can accept this, the sooner that you can understand it and work with it, the less pressured you'll feel to make the mistake that I did, which was trying to make money ASAP. And don't get me wrong, in some cases you need to based on life circumstances. And I'm also not saying that this means you should sit down and spend a year coming up with a marketing plan without ever testing it because that's dumb. What I am saying though, is that it's just gonna take time for you to get good. If you're trying to hit 100K a month, by the way, a lot of people don't even care to hit these numbers. A lot of people just wanna hit 20K a month and then they're good, they're living on their own, uh, having a good income, whatever it is. And a lot of the drop off points for people are just when people just don't really want any more money or they don't want to take on more responsibility or the money's not worth it to them or they have different priorities. But let's say you want to scale to $75,000 a month. Odds are it's not going to happen in a year. That's not how it happens for most people. It happens for some, but it's not how it happens for most people, especially if you're a younger guy, which 
my demographics on YouTube are broken. It's like 99.5% men. But anyway, especially if you're a younger guy and you don't have any skills, you didn't come out of a career in sales or a career in marketing or something, then you're going to struggle. And that's all there really is to it. And that's the reality of entrepreneurship. Either you're building a stack of skills. I've talked about this a hundred thousand times, but starting out, you suck. That's all there is to it. I just figured some of you would find some degree of comfort in this because you might be sitting there thinking before watching this video, ah, oh, like, am I doing this right? Like, is this for me? If you're like four months in, nine months in, and you feel like you're only doing okay, odds are you're on track to do big things. All you really need to do is double every year. If you can double your revenue every year, like you'll make some pretty serious gains. And let me give you, let me pull out my calculator. So if you start at $15,000 a year in revenue, by your sixth year, you'll do a million dollars if you double every single year. So doubling every year is manageable. You look at somebody like Alex Ramosi, he just about doubles per year, double 2.2 times, something like that. Cause I think he tries to grow by 20% per quarter, which I think averages out to be something like 2.25 X in total revenue per year. Earlier on though, you can scale way faster than that too. Like last year versus this year, I'm looking at doing something like a five times increase. It's just at a certain point, once you reach a certain size in business, there can be a level of diminishing returns. And I say there can be because this is a really sensitive topic. I don't want to instill limiting beliefs in you because I've seen people go from 150K a month to two and a half million a month in like 10 months. But depending on the size and structure of your business, as well as your goals, it can be harder to grow the bigger you get at these like like doubling a company that's 500 people is significantly more difficult than doubling a company that has two people, right? So hopefully this video helped you out and gave you some kind of peace of mind. And frankly, you're gonna have to do a lot of boring work in your business. So I made a video on how to do, or how I do boring work all day in my business, stuff that I don't really wanna do. You can go watch that video wherever it is on your screen. See you there.